हरे कृष्णा श्रीमद भागवत में डिसाइड है ऑल दो प्रहलाद महाराज वॉज ओनली फाइव इयर ओल्ड बॉय द सिटीजन कंसिडर्ड हिम लाइक अ फादर इट इज सेड समझ में वंडर हाउ कैन आई फाइव इयर ओल्ड बॉय बी कंसिडर्ड लाइक अ फादर बिकॉज वी वॉज स्पिरिचुअली सो मेच्योर एंड एडवांस्ड ही बिहेव्ड विथ ऑल सप्लाइम क्वालिटीज सो यू विल सी ऑल दो ही वॉज द प्रिंस His father was a king of not only this world, but of all the three worlds. Still, there was not even an iota of false pride in Prahlad. Uh, in the Bhagavatam, it is mentioned that he was very handsome. Also, he was very handsome, well decorated with all jewelry. He was a prince of the king. He was a successor to his father in going to become the next king of the world. But all these things, even his uh, knowledge and you know his talents and skills none of this made him proud at all because he could clearly see the temporary nature of the material world there and he was never uh, infatuated by false pride it is said so in youth we want possesses bodily beauty or education or high birth or uh, such kinds of things kunji mana ni says it produces false pride hmm. and due to false pride one is unable to call the holy names of the lord fervently because one very strongly identifies with the body and uh, one considers the body to be permanent just like you will see a uh, supari uh, what do you call that in english betel nut uh, betel nut or a coconut when it is green it is uh, attached to the cover Uh, but later on when it dries up then it withdraws inside you seen that then to the sound will come it becomes separate similarly when one is young then one's bodily consciousness is very high one identifies the body one thinks i am fair i am tall i am strong uh, one thinks i am going to be here forever <clears throat> one is unable to see that you know things can change in a moment in this world uh, so but when one becomes uh, ripe in, uh, in the devotional practice then one becomes withdrawn from the external you know glitter and glamour of the world then one can actually be called as jivan mukta which means is aloof uh, from the attachment to the material body but prahlad maharaj had that type of consciousness even though he was only a very young boy eh? just he was just 5 year old child and most amazingly After Prahlad Maharaj's father Rene Kashyapu was finished by Lord Narasimha, and uh, Prahlad offered the prayers, and Lord coronated him as the next king through Brahma. Huh? Then uh, he was supposed to now sit on the throne uh, of the uh, you know king and rule the whole world. But what did he do? The very first thing he did was not to just sit on the throne and rule. immediately he called his ministers and said now that i am given the post of a king i would like to go and meet the saintly persons now to take association so that i can perform the duties of a king properly so he went to rishabh hills in south india you all know rishabh hills is in melukottai close to melukottai so there he found one brahman avadud brahman in the, in the forest you know whom prahlad maharaj considered as highly enlightened because he was a devotee of lord narayana and that avadud brahman wouldn't speak to anybody uh, he was uh, like mauni baba but when he saw prahlad coming down from the chariot and coming to see him with him that avadud brahman spoke he said i am speaking to you for my own purification he said uh, and then they both had a very good uh, dialogue which you will read in the shrimad bhagavata so prahlad is here the king of the whole world but going and sitting in the jungle you know with one saintly person and spending time learning about the supreme lord and how to surrender just now he has already seen the supreme lord <laughs> as narsimha who came out of the pillar still he is not complacent or satisfied that i have anyway i have seen krishna who came from the pillar and lord even kept me on his lap also what more i want <laughs> he didn't say that so he was uh, uh, wanting uh, continued enlightenment <laughs> and taking us to some saintly persons in this way prahlad 
he will see whether he was a five year old boy the prince of the king uh, or a would be successor to the king or even after becoming a successor of the king and becoming king of the world he remained completely free from pride so this pride and carelessness are the two causes of 10 offenses huh? like you look at the first offense you know it it is it arises due to pride third offense also fourth offense also they all arise due to pride and the first offense arises because we don't respect the devotees third offense arises because we don't respect guru fourth offense arises because we think we know better than the scriptures huh? we think like that isn't it second offense happens because we underestimate the uh lord's position in relation to other heroes in this world hmm. like that so similarly the you know fifth sixth seventh uh eighth offenses all are about the holy name you know considering that the holy name glories are imaginary or misinterpreting it or abusing it hmm. underestimating it all these things happen uh, again because of foolishness and ignorance and false pride of one's position yeah the ninth offense tenth offense happened due to carelessness inattentiveness so inattentiveness or false pride these are some items that we can work on to purify our heart so any sane uh, spiritual person uh, should be beware of these two qualities so one should be watchful at every moment like raghuna was sitting on the palanquin and arrogantly speaking the moment he realized the person carrying palanquin jada bharata is an enlightened soul what he did immediately he jumped out of the palanquin and fell at his feet and caught his feet and he said naham vishanki suradaj vajran natrakshashulan yamasya danda so he said i am not afraid of yamas danda or, you know shivas trishul or, you know the weapon of varuna knows and all that shanke bisham brahma kula avamana but i am afraid to offend a vaishnava i said so in this way he was very intelligent alert so we all have to be alert like him at every moment not to offend others and we also have to be very attentive uh, in avoiding uh, careless mistakes in performance of devotion service by doing this during the course of the day we can uh, very carefully avoid offenses and then the chanting of the holy name next day would be naturally more uh, attentive and more respectful and that is what is going to gradually increase the purification mm-hmm. harinam prabhu ki